today I wanted to share with you the first antenna I ever made and I made this just a few weeks ago it's been tested by a friend WA6RHK made out of stainless steel rod I got the idea off of uh, another YouTube channel Dave Tadlock and uh, that was for the elements the rest of it is all my design and for my first antenna I'm very very happy so let me show it to you tell you what it is it's two 1 8 inch stainless steel rods bent into a U they're cut to the 2 meter and 70 centimeter lengths and then they are held on to this piece of PVC T with two stainless steel bolts and wing nuts the feed line bottom the uh, shield goes to the bottom element the center conductor goes to the top element this is 18 feet of RG58 cable comes off of the uh, element goes through the pipe completely wraps around the three quarter inch piece of PVC pipe comes over to the end goes back in through a hole feeds in to the tube and down into this CPCV T that's a three quarter inch T with a panel on the back so that you can access drill a hole mounted to SO239 another piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe coming off the back and I put on mine I put a cap you can screw cap the elements can come off slide into the back put the cap on and you can stow it you don't have to worry about bending the elements the way I built this this is stainless steel TIG welding rod and I bent it around a uh, 10 millimeter diameter drill bit used vice grips to close up the gap after I got it, the bend started I got vice grips on it use those to close it down you could use a vice or whatever else you have and then once I got it bent just measured from the bottom of the U up to the 70 centimeter distance cut it the hacksaw measured to the two meter distance measured cut it with a hacksaw sealed up the feed lines with uh, liquid electrical tape and sealed the holes in the PVC pipe with silicone that's waterproof uh, the next one I build I'm gonna build another piece because this is open to the elements so rain can get down in there but the next one will have either plugs or a little shaft of uh, PVC pipe coming up and a cap I put a piece of one inch into the side of this T the bolts go through the PVC there's a star washer external star washer on the back to uh, lock it down I drilled the hole small so that the bolts would thread through the plastic but not too small so you crack it there's a flat washer on either side of the element a split washer to lock it down and a wing nut and these are all stainless steel hardware there's a small ring terminal soldered onto the ends of the coax to uh, make the connection better and that's my antenna about forty dollars worth of parts um, this coax alone was thirteen dollars but uh, we're gonna make the next one without that and I'll do a video we're gonna see if this much choke is necessary we're gonna start out with just a straight line and if that's no good on the SWRs then we will take this and put it on and then shorten it up see how much we actually need to get the good flat SWR with this antenna 12 and a half feet off the ground at one watt I can reach the repeater at 29 miles from here and I did that that's not road miles that's GPS coordinates to GPS coordinates KG7 to UF 